Hi, Tech Silver here, and this is my tips and tricks guide to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So we're going to look at experience points first. Now, the easiest way to do this is to go to every single town that you visit and visit the message board. And what you can do is obviously select all the missions or quests that are on these message boards. And by completing them, you will increase your XP points without using XP boosters or any sort of other cheating method. So we're in focus at the moment, so we're going to select all the quests that are running at the moment. So we've just selected multiple quests and we're just going to complete our first one now, and which is killing followers of Ares. There we go, um, our first 40,500 XP points. So we're looking at the quests at the moment, uh, particularly the free contracts. So we need to kill three, um, five Spartan Brutes in Focus. And luckily the last two are exactly the same. We need to bring the nation power down. So we go to the gymnasium, um, we're not gonna pump iron. We need to kill as many brutes as we can. Okay, that's the gymnasium done. We now go to the guest guest house, but there's no time to lie down. We're still looking for more brutes. There we go, number two. And luckily, number three here. We now go to the leader's house. So we're now going to enter the house, going to pick up some loot, try and bring the um, the power of the region down. We now go outside the house and see if we can find some more brutes. There's one over there. That's number four. And hopefully this will be number five. And there we go. We've got another 108,000 XP points. And mastery level 121 is up now. And you get an extra ability point every time you um, get a mastery level. Let's take care of this, um, this mercenary. Or bounty hunter. And we're going to still carry on bringing the nation power down. Always pick up weapons, they'll come in useful in a bit. And there we go, we've just brought the nation power down and that's another 108,000 XP points 
and because there was two quests that were similar, another 108,000 XP points. So we've got about 350,000 plus XP points just like that. So always go to the message boards. On the subject of weapons, always do war runs. This is the easiest way to accumulate lots of weapons. And we're in Arcadia at the moment, but most towns will have uh, fortified walls around them. So we just sped this up a little bit. Go to the main section of the wall, pick up more weapons. Just picked up some drachmi off that soldier. More drachmi. Weapons. Arrows. Resources. Finally, the last weapon on each section of the wall. We go to the other side of the town where there's another section of wall. And you basically rinse and repeat. So this is the final section of the wall. More weapons. More resources, money or drag me. <laughs> okay, a rug and weapons. So nearly at the end of this wall run now. I think this is the last soldier now. There we go. More drachmi and the final weapon. So as I said, we were in Arcadia just then. Three section wall run. Nice and quick. And like I say, every town will have a walled section like this. But the biggest one is in Athens. But the only problem with this one is that it takes an absolute eternity to do. So just bear that in mind. While you will get more rewards in Athen, you will spend more time. So we're now going to take a trip to the blacksmiths. The three best blacksmiths are actually not in Greece. They're in Elysium, Hades and Atlantis. And the reason we, I prefer to go to these ones is that they have weapons that you can't normally get in Greece, as you can see. But the main reason is the sheer volume of um, crafting materials you can buy from these blacksmiths. As you can see, we're talking large numbers. And once you've bought your resources, always go back in again, and you'll notice that sometimes it respawns, like in this example. We now go to Hades, the underworld. We have only the finest goods. Once again, unique weapons not available in Greece, and again, large volumes of crafting materials.
we exit. And as I say, always go back in again. It's always worth a try. This time, not so much. Done. Goodbye then. We next go to Atlantis. Once again, unique weapons not available in Greece. And again, large volumes of crafting materials. I think we've got enough. Okay, just buy a little bit more. Until next time. And there you go. Sometimes when you go back, it respawns and this time we've got those precious gems. See you later. We now go back to Greece. We do appreciate that not everybody has bought the DLC, so you won't be able to go to those three locations. So we're back in Greece again, in Arcadia. And if you do want to go to Blacksmith, Arcadia has two Blacksmiths in its location. Argolis or Argos has two blacksmiths also. And Achaia also has two blacksmiths. Those are the three best locations in Greece if you want to go and visit blacksmiths. So remember we, we, we did that war run um, a while ago. We're now going to sell all those weapons to the blacksmiths. We're not going to dismantle. And we get a lot of drachmi. You know, you're looking about 20 to 35,000 drachmi per item. This is why it's better to sell your items to the blacksmith and then buy exactly whatever you want, be it weapons, be it um, crafting materials. And there's one last blacksmith I want to show you, which is in Malice, in Mycen Cave. And... The reason you should visit this cave or blacksmith from time to time is that there's a, a special blacksmith in there that will teach you um, for a small fee that is how to um, get new abilities or sorry new engravings should I say. So we'll just make our way through the cave, it's not too long. There he is. Good day. And you can learn. A variety of um, engraving uh, items. And what can I get what we'll do next is we'll go to the blacksmith. Don't forget to upgrade your weapons from time to time. As your level goes up, you need to make sure your weapons and your armor also goes up with your level as well. Price will vary. Obviously common, I wouldn't waste your time. Rare, again, I wouldn't waste your time. Minimum, I would say epic. And try and obviously go for the legendary items. Engraving. This is where you can add additional perks to your weapons. E extra warrior damage, fire damage. Some of these you'll obviously pick up as you play the game. The others you'll have to go to that Mycen cave and buy the privilege to um, do these engravings. So as you can see, various engravings are available for a small fee in Drachmi, Iron and Precious Gems. Engravings will differ from weapon to armour. Let me know if you need anything else. And If we have a look at mine, you'll see I've got fire damage. You, you obviously know that. I like my fire. 
all, all of my weapons have fire damage and this one has extra damage to um, bosses and these um, armor have various engravings also. Next, abilities. So you obviously need to figure out what's your play style, but the one thing I would definitely recommend is that second wind. It will save your bots when you need it most. The overpower attack is also very good. I, um, you'll probably notice I use that a lot. And there's an equivalent one for the um, bow, the overpower bow strike. And another favorite of mine is rush assassination. So make sure you experiment with these abilities. You can always reset the abilities for a small fee and also pay attention to these mastery levels. And with this you can really fine tune your warrior. Things like crit damage, damage on animals, adrenaline. Warrior damage. I just applied one just then. Overpower. Soldiers, health, armor, fire damage. And a variety of other mastery levels. Again, experiment. And if you don't like it, you can, for a small fee, reset the whole thing. Back to abilities. You change the scenery. Let's go to the ocean now. First thing with your ship, there's a little box right at the back. You can store very important armor you might have accumulated through the game in this box so you don't accidentally sell it to the um, blacksmith. I've done that a couple of times unfortunately. With your ship, don't forget to upgrade your ship. You've got obviously a variety of things from javelins to flamethrowers to arrows, ram, javelins again, the hull integrity, the stamina for your rowers, your crew armor. You've got your lieutenants. They all have specific um, abilities. So let's, let's set sail. We've been waiting for you. So we're going to engage in some combat. Sails up. The best we're thing to do is to use it. that ram. It will take about half the life of these ships, then give them a, a good roasting as well. And just when you think you've done enough, throw some javelins at the ship as well. There you go. After you've done that, you have three options. Option one is to board the ship. With this option, after you've defeated um, all the enemy on the um, ship, you'll be able to loot the chest. So this, while is a bit more time consuming than the other two methods, you end up with a bit more um, booty doing this method. of it so you just got um, abrasives some gems and quite a lot of wood there's two more um, chests so we've got more wood and a breastplate and another chest some greaves and more wood this is the most profitable way of taking care of ships to actually board them 
However, sometimes time's a premium, so here's option number two. The quickest way to deal with a ship is just to destroy it using the javelins. You don't get as much. You get, in this case, 347 pieces of wood, but it's a lot quicker. And option number three. It's better just take care of this um, pirate ship first. So option number three is basically just ram through the actual um, ship. So let's just get in position and let's go for it. There you go. And you picked up 285 pieces of wood. And let's take care of this pirate ship while we're at it. There you go. And we're going to ram through this ship as well. So let's just get in position, let's build up some speed, and we're just going to go straight through it. There you go. 279 pieces of wood. So obviously option number one is the best. Back at Fokis on Terra Firma, we're going to visit Sargon. So Sargon selects sells four different items every week two epic two legendary weapon armor ship designs if you don't fancy it you've got the olympian gifts which are 20 oriculcum now the way you earn oriculcum is you either do the daily tasks like this one here or you can do the two weekly tasks so the daily ones will give you 10 oriculcum each and the weekly ones will give you 40 each so the two weekly item weekly um tasks will give you 80 oriculcum and the daily ones, 10 each, that's another 70. So you're looking at 150 Oricolcum or every week if you do every single task. You're the one who left these fresh cakes. Secret cake. Athens wants this man dead, and I'm only too happy to oblige. This. So you want me to deliver? Yes, it needs. I'll take care of it. Perfect. We're done here. So once you've um, completed these tasks and you've earned all that Oricolcum, all you need to do is go back to Sargon whenever. Uh, Tuesday is the best day, usually um, he has new items and you can exchange these Oricolcum or for either the items he's got or you can um, try your luck with those random GIF um, items he sells. A delivery for you. Oh, thank you, Mistios. So I've got, in this case, 11. The reason is that I've been playing this for a while and after you certain, um, complete certain tasks, you get more Oricolcum. And finally, don't forget to activate the synchronization points. The amount of times I see people playing this game and they just neglect to do this, it means you'll, if you ever have to come back to these places, you're going to have to do it the hard way. It's a lot easier if you just do the synchronization bit like we're just about to do now. And what it means is that next time you need to come back to these places, especially these islands, you won't have to come by ship. You can just use the fast travel to this synchronization point. But not all synchronization points are as epic as that one. You've got this tiny little pillar here, but it's still a synchronization point. So there you go, my tips and tricks to get ahead in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Hopefully you found it useful. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you soon.